Hello ladies and gents, long time no see. Um, oh shit, my screen's turning off. Um, okay, so today I'm going to be doing a Dark Souls 2 video upon the Shrine of Amana and how I believe it is Blight Town, in my opinion. Like, all up for speculation kind of idea. You know, it's Dark Souls. That's how it was made. So to get right into it, let's start talking about the sealers. Uh, that's where should we should start. Um, okay, so there was three sealers in Dark Souls One, who were there um, because they sealed New Londo. They they flooded it, and they were there as I believe I was described as like a sacrifice. They were sacrificing themselves by staying there for one thing. That was their job. That was their requirement. And so they stayed there, but two of them got bored. One of them we know was called Sila Yulva, and the other one I think is believed to have been uh, one of Lord Trek's other people uh, that's with him when you invade his world. However, that's that's another speculation point. I'm not going into that now. Anyway, Sila Yulva. Sila Yulva. Um, she, 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 she moved away. She moved away from New Londo and she decided to go back to Blight Town as is shown uh, when we find her gear and her catalyst and a spell called Remedy which uh, is on the gear and we can kind of assume from this that she died <laughs> because we find it on a body and it's unlikely that someone else has stolen it and everything there so we, we assume she's died and in the in the spell remedy, it suggests that um, she's taken the spell and she's going back to Blight Town, back to Blight Town notice as well, which might be suggesting that she came from it originally. I forget that. Um, she's go she's going back to Blight Town to heal it. Now we can we we assumed in Dark Souls One that she had failed, like she was dead, her body was there, she had the remedy spell, but nothing had been healed everybody was still fucked and the zone was still horrific which is annoying because if she had succeeded blight town would have been a lot less of a bitch however i'm willing to suggest now after seeing the shrine of amana that she didn't fail and that like a growing plant over time it took years, many years, as is between Dark Souls 1 and 2, to grow a Blight Town world into a Shrine of Amana world. Like, that's that's just the basis on why I'm saying, like, I'm just gonna leave that there and then build on that. So just, just keep that in your head. So there's multiple things that both Shrine of Amana and uh, Blight Town have in common. So the roots all around the sides of the walls, um, and in Shrine of Amana's case, like, completely, basically covering the entire zone. Um, that would be either caused by underground, because obviously when you're in Blight Town, you're not underground because you can still see that, well, you are underground, you can see the roof, you can see through the sky, however, you are very much in a, like, ravine or whatever you want to call it, um, very low down at the bottom, and... Yeah, you can see you can see these roots either side, which could either be roots of <laughs> giant plants or giant trees, or simply just the roots, simply just large trees. And this links onto my next point, which is that Shrine of Amana looked also an awful lot like Ash Lake, which is located right next to Blight Town. Funnily enough, isn't it? That's very interesting. Um, and what was in Ash Lake? large amounts of large trees and that would suggest that possibly Ash Lake has kind of spread itself over Blight Town in my opinion um, there is I think I should have a clip here I'm not doing this with a video next to me there is a clip here of me looking at um, kind of a it looks almost like when you're trying to mold the tree in like um, a garden or something I'm trying to mould the tree into a specific um, form 
which which could suggest that people were trying to make almost like an ash lake with giant trees and stuff in this shrine of Amana. However, I doubt that. That's just that's yeah, that's a side thing. But I would say I would say that it's naturally growing, and that it's growing over from an ash lake zone, um, which which would suggest which would suggest that the area in time would just have huge trees like in Ash Lake. However, you can see them, they all, they're going to take, those trees in Ash Lake are going to take more than a thousand years to grow. So, yeah. Another point which kind of links both Blight Town and um, Shrine of Amana, and kind of suggests that it's not Ash Lake itself, is the fact that not only is it underground, but the water level is well <laughs> ash lake is a lake like for the mechanics of the game obviously you fall in the water you die however you can see that it's an actual lake like it's deep whereas shrine is fairly fairly shallow at certain parts however deep at others i guess you can fall in so there's always the chance of it being ash lake but i would be more inclined to believe from the level that you walk in that um that it's kind of a it is it's a more of a blight town area finally at the end of the zone you've got right there you've got the demon of song demon of song's room or what would be quilag's room in my opinion like this large place which has clearly got an open roof in demon of song's room however that could have very easily just broken through um the only thing i guess that kind of counters that idea is that surely just down the way should be this burning demon land of um, shit and you know I, I I'm not sure if the geographical points of that are entirely you know like perfect but things could have happened to that over time like it could have it could have receded it could have simply they could have simply like retconned it and put it a bit further back because obviously the zones are quite close. It's a bit odd. Um, however, both of them could be very easily the same room with the Demon of Song and Quilax. Less because of the actual room and more before because of the setup of Shrine of Amana and Blight Town. They're very similar in length and kind of it's right at the right end of the room. Uh, right, right end of the room, right end of the cave. There's lifts. There's a lift down from um, Undead Crypt. No, to Undead Crypt from Shrine of Mana after you've killed the boss. Um, now that lift, that lift is very interesting because it look has the exact same pattern and actually colouring as the um, ones from for uh, that are around the area of Firelink Shrine to New Londo. And I think there's one in Dark Root Basin, up to, I think, at uh, New London. I think it's just, like, next to New Londo. I might be wrong on that one. Someone correct me in comments if I am. But, you know, these the, these are exactly the same types of lifts. Now, I'm not saying it's the same lift because it's a lot further underground. However, the architecture on them is very similar, which suggests that either the same people have created this in a different place, or... It's around the area and something that existed before. So Undo Crypt, if, if Undo Crypt was something that existed before, then it's likely that it was built by the same people. Now I want to make a point that my friend made to me about Undo Crypt and its possible connection to the Black Gulch and the Gutter and in Dark Souls 1, what I think most people assume now is the Catacombs. I believe people assume that. Like I, I'm, I'm kind of assuming that because you know it's a, it's a giant cave. And that's that's kind of naive of me, I guess. But it, you know, one or the other. If if any if in any other like speculation comes up, I'll, I'll listen to it. But you know, for now, I'm just going with that. Um, if they are connected, then that would give, that would give reason. For the Milfonito, like to be there specifically, like I know, I know about how um, Nito has put them there and everything, but I don't really. I'm not. I'm not massively. I've not looked into that yet. I'm not speculating on that or anything. 
So, I believe if they are connected though, um, they weren't necessarily connected, uh, the Undead Crypt isn't necessarily a, a, an old zone, like an, uh, something that was there before but we didn't explore. Because, I say this because, um, firstly, you can see that the the trees around the area of the zone have been cracked, like there's there's roots that have been broken away. Um, that that could have just been them falling down, but you know, it's, it's specifically in that part. And also, the roots that are growing over it aren't that established, like, for the rest of the zone you look around the walls and it is covered in roots. This particular part, excuse me, this particular part, there's a, there's like a root growing down on it and that could have happened like fairly recently for all we know. Um, so I wouldn't say it's been there forever, this connection. So that's something, I guess. Now I know both of the zones don't look 100% like each other. Like I, I, I can see it, I, can, I understand and I'm sure I'm gonna get comments saying like what the fuck, these zones don't even like, why are you saying this? This is, why have you made this connection? They're, they're stupid. Um, but the fact is that <laughs> firstly it's been many years, like we, I don't think we're entirely sure on the amount because they obviously are very vague on that kind of thing. But um, it's been many years, Six Dark Souls 1, like, I would assume in the thousands. Um, many kingdoms have gone past and fallen. And though the architecture looks similar, some of the architecture looks similar to that in Blighttown, um, of the kind of ruins, it could, it could fairly easily be just, it could, it could fairly easily be just, um, a different, uh, architecture. Uh, a different kingdom that's been set up on this zone and has fallen. However, also there's been some changes obviously for the mechanics of the game as well, like they didn't want you to go into certain parts of the zone so you can't really, so the, the fall breaks down at that part and they want to make it difficult. Like, the thing that has to be bearing in mind is that for the mechanics of the game the zones have to be changed a bit as well. So I, I don't know, yeah. It, I, I, I would say I'm fairly certain on this now though. Look, even, another part, another point is that FromSoft has, in my opinion, made a little bit of a hint here because in Dark Souls 1, in Dark Souls 1, you ask someone, what is the zone you hate the most? Or what do you think is the most generic zone which people are going to say they dislike, like the, the, the zone that they're going to hate the most? It's gonna be it's gonna be Blight Town, most likely. Most people are gonna say Blight Town. You go to Dark Souls 2, and all of my friends so far have been saying that their least favourite zone. Mechanically, the zone itself is beautiful, but mechanically, their least favourite zone has been uh, Shrine of Amana. So that might have been a little hint from Shrubsoft, just suggesting, even though they're completely different reasons why they're both annoying, it's very possible that the zones have each been set up to be dicks for a reason. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please do like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Um, I haven't made a video in a long time, a very long time. I might get back into it again. I want to stream kind of a little bit. I do want to stream a little bit. Um, but that's 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 a different problem, and I'll I'll talk about it another time. But um. I, this 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 video specifically some people that may not agree with it that's fine it's speculation like these games both Dark Souls 1 and 2 are up for speculation and it is kind of own opinion which which it comes down to however if you have any more like if you any, have anything that goes against what I've said or goes towards what I've said please put it in the comments because like I I'd, 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 I want this out you know thanks for watching bye